Hello, I'm Alex Hare, and I welcome you to Australian Archives, a program of musical items featuring Australian artists of note and taken from the archives. And we begin this edition of Australian Archives with Joe Watson and his Green Mill Orchestra, vocal by Jack O'Hagan, and a Vocalian test recording made in November 1929. Short 
In England, I'm presented at court. But you've got me downhearted, cause I can't get started with you. You're so supreme, lyrics I write of you. Just for the sight of you Dream Both day and night of you And what good does it do In 1959 I'm so short In England I'm presented at court But you've got me Berrigan's classic I Can't Get Started, performed there by Pam Fletcher, working with the GDV9 Orchestra. And at the time when Freddie Thomas and Max Goldberg were on trumpets and Ronnie Rosenberg on piano. And what a great sound in our program Australian Archives, which opened with Joe Watson's Green Mill Orchestra and a vocal by Jack O'Hagan. Tune, Josie and Me, written by Jack for his wife. Moving on. Here's Smacker Fitzgibbon. He died in 1979. And Smacker, with his mum Minnie on piano, gives us Fat Swallow's Honey Hush. Oh, how I love you, honey hush. Your lovely cheeks make roses blush. Your lips are divine. They taste just like wine. They seem to whisper of love. Oh, how I love you, honey hush My heart is singing like a thrush I'm dreaming my dreams And scheming my schemes Please tell me, yes, my turtle dove Your eyes shine like stars up above Making me know that I'm in love Giving me the rush I'm saving my dimes I hear wedding chimes My sweet, my lovely honey
into the archives on that occasion to London in July 1909 and it was Florrie Ford who was born in Fitzroy here in Melbourne in 1876 and her name was Florence Flanagan. She went to London in 1897 and was a great hit on the halls. She died suddenly after performing in 1940 in Aberdeen for the troops. Yip by Addie I.A. Florrie Ford and before that it was Smacker Fitzgibbon and Honey Hush, and his mum Minnie was on piano. Now back to Australian shores and to Sydney in the Prestophone Studios in May of 1937, Frank Coglin's Trocadero Orchestra, vocal handled by Frank on this occasion, the Darktown Strutters Ball.
I never knew Abe Romain and his orchestra, and the uh, discographers put that recording at around November 1935. The vocal was handled by Dutchie Turner and the piano well-known Melbourne identity Bernie Duggan. Before that, it was Frank Coughlin's Trocadero Orchestra and recording in May of 1937 with the Darktown Strutters Ball. Now back to London and an Australian performer, Sybil Richard with Carol Gibbons and the Savoy Hotel Orpheans and the oldest chorus boy in London. <laughs> No, no, that's terrible. I beg your pardon, Mr. Gibbons. I say it's terrible, and it's not the way you rehearsed it this morning. Now, Mr. Gibbons, I'm not used to being spoken to like that. After all, I know I'm the oldest chorus boy in London. I've been at it now since Chuchin Chow. I'm no longer a youth and quite long in the tooth, but you're not going to get rid of me now. At auditions, I got into all positions. At my splits, the band had fits and yelled for more. Every manager shrieks as my old body creaks through my routine, which ends on the floor. Mr. Cochran pales and sends someone for Brandy from a handy little dive when I arrive. But I prance at every dance and I don't get a chance. They scream, Cyril, not you, still alive. Well, I may be a chorus boy, but I've got my rights. I was nearly demolished with dailies. I was getting quite old and Nanette. Though I'm due for a pension, there's still I would mention a kick in the old camel yet. Now I'm grand in the scenes about sports, in me dinky white flannels and blazer. But in shows where we have to wear shorts, I run over my knees with a razor. I try to have dignity, bearing and poise in a line between nine other hideous boys. But my corsets create such a shattering noise. I'm Cyril the scourge of the stage. What a trooper. I'm Cyril the scourge of the stage. Feeling better now, Carol? I'm not angry for long, you know. <laughs> the peak of my motley career was reached in Chicago one year. They froze me up twice in a large block of ice where the glamour girl couldn't appear. How the pride in me bosom was surging when I once understudied in Leeds. But as far as lines go, I'm still virgin, though I once neighed off stage for some steeds. Do you know I dangle George Edwards when young and me knee, so George Black isn't any too mad about me. And I poured Murray Tempest's first stage cup of tea. I'm Cyril the scourge of the stage, what an artist. I'm Cyril, the scourge of the stage. After masses of serious flops, I was sold with the clothes and the props. I spent several nights in a box full of tights and a fortnight in second-hand shops. As me bod's not the acme of shapes, and me voice would split anyone's ear, I'm only permitted to traipse in the back row and well to the rear. I do tap, I do ballet, I do classic gavotte. I once carried Miss Tanget on at her cot, with the flags of all nations tied up in a knot. I'm Cyril, the scourge of the stage. Gosh, I'm old. I'm Cyril, the scourge of the stage. Oh, goodness, we're off again. La, 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 la. Thank you. 
Black Shuffle, a little bit of Charleston there, featuring the 2FC Studio Dance Orchestra, conducted by Eric Pierce. The vocalist was Len Maurice. That tune written by Melbourne's Jack O'Hagan and recorded in Sydney for the Columbia label on the 9th of March 1927. And before that it was Cyril Richard, the oldest chorus boy in London from 1940. To wrap up this edition of our program, here's Jeff Brook and Pam Corrigan singing with the Bob Gibson Orchestra, recorded for the Harmony Hits label in Melbourne in 1946. Is it Crosby? Who else could it be? <laughs> Pennies from heaven, Dolores 
Memphis and Clementine, and it's like going my way. He's sung for a decade, and yet he's still top crooner today. Crosby, who else could it be? Jeff Brook, Pam Corrigan with the Bob Gibson Orchestra, bringing this edition of our program Australian Archives to a close. Australian Archives was conceived, prepared and produced by Alex Hare for Golden Days Radio. Thanks for listening and bye for now.